All right, travel day is finally here, heading to the airport, and it is about 1.30 p.m. First, I got my favorite scotch latte from Mug Coffee with extra ice. Here, checking in, first time trying Oman Air. I'm flying with Oman Air this time, so we're gonna go check in, let's go. Hey guys, so I just checked in my baggages. Uh, had one big suitcase in my carry-on. I was able to check both in, use the restroom. Now I'm gonna head to my gate for my first leg from Kuwait to Oman. And then it's gonna be Oman to- I'm gonna miss you, babe. I'm gonna miss you so much, you and the pets. So after all this talk about going on a vacation together and exploring the world, you're going alone? What's the purpose of going alone if it's not just a visa renewal? Oh, just uh, take care of yourself and have a safe travels. Thanks, babe. I love you so much. Love you too. You can even hear the excitement in his voice. He's probably already picked out another K-Bella to chat with. Yalla, goodbye, honey. <laughs> Cute. I hear goodbyes. Love you too. <laughs> take care, honey. I love you. Goodbye. So it's my first time flying with Oman Air and it was okay. I mean, the seats were pretty comfortable on par with Qatar Airways I found. Um, good thing is we had a middle seat in between me and this nice lady um, sitting with me. So that was nice. Bye bye Kuwait. So the flight to Oman was short. So they just offered a snack, which was a curry, vegetarian curry chickpea puff and a piece of cake and it was actually pretty tasty and I had some uh, pineapple juice with it. I love curry chickpea so this was actually good. What you're seeing is genuine unease and fear. There was quite a bit of turbulence as we were approaching Muscat and I was terrified. pretty empty here. Oh lord, you look like you're about to have a stroke any second. If you're this red and glistening from standing on a conveyor belt, then I wonder how the rest of this trip will go. Yikes. In Oman, the Muscat Airport. Going to transfer. So my gate is A09, so I'm going to be looking for the A gate. Duty free store. I'm tempted to go I'm tempted to go buy a lipstick at Clinique, but I'm gonna wait to spend my shopping money where I'm going. A gates are this way. Let's go confirm our flight. This looks cozy. I'm out of breath, yes. <laughs> a lot of walking. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> wow. What a nice airport. So I have another over six hour flight ahead of me. Can you guess where I'm going yet? Thank God for these conveyor things. It's not very busy here. Maybe it will be an empty flight. That would be cool. I can stretch out more. When I get to my destination, guys, I'm gonna talk more about everything, so stay tuned. Be patient. I can't wait to get there. I cannot stop sweating. Okay, so in case you haven't guessed, I'm traveling alone. When I get to my destination, I'll explain why. Because I forgot my tripod and my luggage, and I don't really feel like holding this up to explain, but um, I'll let you know everything when I get to my hotel. We'll have a chit chat. So let's just enjoy the journey of getting to where I'm going, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Oh my gosh, this nice old man just brought me my passport and um, boarding pass, because I left it over where I was sitting over there. Ready to go. Babe, I wish you were here. Okay, I can't wait. I'm gonna spoil the surprise. I'm going to Bangkok. <laughs> I'll explain everything when I get to the hotel, like I said. Shocker, she's going back to Thailand. We all understand why you're going back. The smoky greens, 
the smoky greens the 7-eleven cheese toasts and the halal hot dogs <laughs> I'm in the middle row and no one's sitting beside me. Woohoo! So this was the one and only meal service on this six and a half hour flight. The salad had no dressing, the pasta had no cheese, and the bread had no butter. But honestly, it was actually really tasty. The tomato sauce was really good and I was starving. So I ate it all. Yum yum. Here we are at the busy airport in Bangkok. I'm gonna have to get a SIM card soon. All right, I got my SIM card already and that took like two seconds. So, and it was cheaper than I thought. It's like 1200 baht for 30 days of unlimited 5G data and calls. Did you know that it's 60 days now for a tourist visa here? So is that why Salah isn't with you? You didn't apply for a tourist visa in time for him? All right, going to see if my bolt ride is here. It's so humid, I'm sweating buckets. So, I just wanted to get to the hotel after this long travel. I had serious jet lag and I was so nauseous. I, I was coming down with something and because of the traffic in Bangkok, especially in the morning, I had to endure another hour and 10 minutes ride from the airport to the hotel in the back seat. And I just had my eyes closed the whole time in between filming these little clips for you guys because I was so nauseous. I don't know how I kept, held my composure, but I somehow did. Okay, when I say I was literally almost starving, I swear. <laughs> I haven't eaten in like 11 hours and like running around the airport. Now, I know I said I don't like eggs, but have you ever had fried eggs this way? Like with basil? Anyway, this is all halal and uh, I'm gonna like eat because I'm so hungry. I've been craving Thai food. It's minced chicken with basil, fried egg and rice. I'm so hungry and like chili. So I'm gonna eat this, shower and sleep and I'll see you guys. I wanted to film more on the ride back but I was so tired. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I really needed that rest. These pillows are so comfy, oh my gosh. Hey CPAP. I smell Thai food everywhere. There's a place here across the road I want to try. We're going to try that one of these days. It's hard to cross, it's hard to cross the street because there's constant motorcycles going around. I want to see what this lady is selling. I'm curious. It looks like fruit maybe. And I'm like on a side street too. You got to you got to fight for your right to cross. What is here? Garlic and vegetables. Okay. Here's the 7-Eleven. Is this the donut person? <gasps> yes, the donuts. Okay, so we have four bots each. So we'll get five. Uh, five, please? Five, please. Uh, yes. You can make, make. Sure. Okay. Yeah. They're so good. <laughs> uh, do they come with a sauce? A sweet sauce? Yeah, uh, yes, please. Yeah. Sweet, sweet sauce. All right, now I'm going to 7-Eleven to see if I can get something for my sore throat and some snacks for later. So I'm not gonna get like a real dinner. 33 baht for laundry detergent so I can do it in my sink. So this is very popular, Yadam. I'm gonna try the original for now and see how it goes. It's an inhalant. Now for my throat. Okay, let's, um, antiseptic. Let's try this. And let's try, what are these? I don't know. So <laughs> let's try some of these 45 baht. Okay, I'm back from the store and I'm super hot. All right, it is humid. It's not even, compared to Kuwait, it's like not even that hot. Like when I landed yesterday, it was like 28 degrees, but it's humid, so it sticks, you know? So, all right, um, I picked up these donuts. These little, they're like fried dough. It took a death fat 40 years to learn that donuts are fried dough. With this like sweet coconut pend, I think it's like a pandan sauce. So let me just try one for you guys. Beauty bite. I won't even tell you. I got a case of water, which I lugged all the way here. Um, I needed a new charger, so I just got one for 99 baht. 
I love how their drinks come in this little bag. So I just put ice because ice will feel good on my throat. And actually, I'm gonna pour one of these bad boys. Zero sugar in it. I think it fits a whole bottle. Yeah, it does. Exactly a whole bottle. They were out of the cheese toasties. They sell out fast. Day one and she's already looking for the cheese toasties. Of course they'll be out when you go at night, Gaul. Especially since they've been viral on social media. These are super cheap and they're super good. They're like ketchup chips. I got these antiseptic capsules you saw. I got some of these things here. I see people drinking them on social media. People who live here, they're very popular. Vitamin C. Tastes like orange juice. That's good. Spicy noodles. It's the closest thing to soup I could find around here right now. Laundry detergent. I think it's laundry detergent. Oh, it's actually dish soap. <laughs> I'm gonna be washing my clothes with dish soap. I don't know. Because I'm too cheap to pay the laundry f uh, fees. And then I'm gonna try this. This is super popular. It's an inhalant. Compound herb inhaler. Inhale once for the symptoms of vertigo. So it's menthol, camphor, bomeol, eucalyptus oil, and other herbs. And people say that this is addictive to inhale. And then the woman that said every addiction under the sun thinks it's a good idea to give them a try. The first day you're there. See, it's like a little pouch with the herbs. Let me try it. It smells like Vicks. Ooh. That really gives you like a kick. But these are super popular amongst Thai people. And I've seen a lot of expats who live here like talk about it, so. All right, and then I got my hot bag of food. So you have some halal, the infamous halal wieners. So that just leaves the weed. She probably bought some the day she arrived. Oh, she didn't give me any sauce, chili sauce. Sometimes they give you chili sauce. So it's basically just a halal sausage on a stick. See the halal mark here? These are cheese ones. So they're probably made with chicken, I guess. But they're so good. I just got a pack of those. Bismillah. Mm. This will be my dinner. I also got one of these. Chicken burger. Spicy chicken burger. Also halal. You know. They're really good. Has like a mayo. My body is not really that sore because I like had a nice hot shower before I went to bed. And that really helped my feet and my back. I took my medications, I rubbed myself in the Asper cream type of medication cream. I, I slept for a while, I slept for a good eight hours. I kept getting up and having to run to the washroom. I think the thing I ate, the chicken with basil, actually, I don't know if it gave me like stomach illness, but so the way they do the minced chicken here is a little different than what I what I'm used to. They like chop up everything. There was like so much bone and cartilage in that meal. I'm sorry if it grosses you out. One crunchy thing and chicken and I'm done. And there it was like all crunchy things. So I think they just chopped up like all the dark meat, like the leg, there was skin. Like it has to be pure breast for me or else no. There's a really cool restaurant across the way. Maybe I'll have try dinner with you guys tomorrow. So be sure to be on the lookout for live streams cause you have to keep me company. Oh my gosh, I didn't even talk about, let me finish my wiener. I didn't even talk about why Salah is not here. Salah is not here right now because he had um, last minute emergency he has to stay in Kuwait for and um, that I won't talk about it's personal so he has to stay behind for a little while um, so your husband has an emergency and you choose to go on a vacation alone how very sweet of you didn't really sound like an emergency though did it he was so happy to send you off how about you tell us the real reason so yeah it's just it's fine. He's going to deal with it. Um, inshallah, he will meet up with me as soon as he can here. He's going to book his flight as soon as he can and um, meet me here. You know, I'm going to be here for, we're going to be here for a little while, but it's really too bad, you know. Um. Sounds like visa issues to me. Remember when they went out to all those immigration offices? Then suddenly in the afternoon Foodie abruptly ended a live stream due to bad news. She never disclosed what that was. Can't help but feel that it's related to this. He had to change everything basically so. Um, luckily his plane ticket was refundable but for a fee. But 
whatever. So he's gonna just book rebook his flight whenever he knows when he can come. So hopefully soon, I don't know exactly when, it just, you know, it was an unforeseen thing that happened in his life and, but you know, I offered to stay with him and he was like, no, 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 you know, just, I know you really wanted to go because I don't get out when I'm in Kuwait because of the heat and I wanted like a little bit of reprieve and honestly, we really like Bangkok like and I don't know I didn't think I would want to come back because we stayed here so long last time but whenever you're away from it like it's a vibe like I don't know like if you've ever traveled to Bangkok or to Thailand you'll know it's like addictive I don't know how to explain it it's like just a really affordable really nice vacation place and there's so much like to do it's just like I don't know how to explain it yeah I feel bad I miss him and the pets so bad but I'm glad that he'll be there with the pets to take care of them longer um, they'll be at home longer. Like I left him like a whole, you know, book on how to take care of them. The way I do, he does too, but like I'm their mom mom, you know? We never have any time apart, so maybe it's a little good for us, you know? We were actually planning on traveling um, December, maybe the end of November, December, something like that, because the places we wanna travel to are hot like really hot we're hot like it's summer you know like you know like egypt morocco malaysia places like that malaysia is kind of like thailand but we just really 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 wanted to do like an in-between like i was like itching to get out of kuwait a bit because of the heat so i thought this is the easiest i know this place i've been here i know what to expect that's like less stressful for me anyway this is gonna be a really long vlog I'm gonna eat my dinner, try, medicate myself, edit my vlog, and just relax. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye, guys!